We are live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another live stream Sundays of uh, Rookie Collectibles. Um, thank you guys for joining us. It has been two weeks since we live streamed, uh, and that is because um, last week we were kind of busy, I think, and we held that off. Um, but yes, we are back uh, this week for another live stream Sundays. I hope you guys uh, have had a good week um, before this. We have a good two weeks before this, actually. But yes, today we're going to talk about... Um, we're going to show you a couple of um, stuff that we've got recently. Um, a couple of Funko Pops, a couple of Tiny Ghosts. Um, we've bought a Molly blind box. That's something that uh, I think we've not unboxed on the channel before. Uh, and we are going to talk to you about SD, uh, SD, STGCC, that's Singapore Toy Game and Comic Convention, that will be happening next week. Uh, how many of you guys will be going to STGCC 2018 as well? Let us know, we will be there. Um, we might be a bit busy, so if you are free, do give us a helping hand. <laughs> yes. Uh, while Cheryl is preparing the... Um, um, posts to fire out um let me just talk to you very randomly for the moment oh we've got something new as well so we also got uh hey Evanos, thanks for popping in uh we also got something from um also collection recently and uh it was something that cheryl ordered uh it is a negora so we'll show you that in a second as well so uh, she's actually got the diamond dust edition i think you might have seen that if you are following us on instagram and if you are not, please follow us on Instagram. Uh, but before we start and before we continue, whilst all the social media posts are going out currently, um, just wanted to say a big hello to everyone. And of course, um, we do actually have a Facebook group uh, and it's called Rookie Nation. So please find out more about Rookie Nation. Uh, uh, um, of course, search Facebook about Rookie Nation. Join there. Uh, we hope to have awesome discussions and, and just sharings with you on Rookie Nation uh, itself. So, hope to see you guys there. Um, but yes, other than that, thank you for watching this uh, uh, live stream. Thank you for dropping in. Um, and um, let's begin in a short while. <laughs> so we are still uh, on the way to posting some stuff. Um, yeah, meanwhile, how many of you guys will be going to STGCC? Let us know in the chat. There? Or was it there? There? Uh, in the comment section? Oh, it's there. Okay. But let us know in the chat. Um, um, yeah, we really, really hope to see you guys there. Tell us, let us know what are you guys excited with. Um, let us know. So let's see. Let's hang on. Let's, let's wait for a small, mo a short moment before we actually begin. Um, we have... Let's see. Okay? Yep. Hello, hello. Alright. Let's begin. So I think for a quick start, um, like we always have done, we'll always begin with just a Funko Pop top mm -hmm. first and, and stuff that we've got recently in Funko Pop world. Yep. Uh, we are um, naturally slowing down a little bit on the Funko Pop <laughs> side already. Yeah, too many, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, we are. So, anyways, let's let's begin. Uh, for the for recently, we actually got yeah, this. Yeah, actually, too. not so recent because this was from way back. Actually, right. Yeah, it isn't exactly way back, but like yeah, at um, least a month ago. <laughs> someone helped us got this, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, over here we have the SECC Olena Tyrell mm -hmm. as well as this uh, Imperial Patrol Trooper. Yeah. Yeah. To be honest, I think there were not a lot of pops that we were like super looking out for for SDCC. Right. SDCC. Okay. Yeah, so I think we kind of like um, this one, this one. We're also looking out for the Iron Man in the super yeah. cool suit. That's really one of the only few Marvel pops yeah. that I was legitimately excited yeah, about. Yeah, it's um, really well designed. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully uh, yeah. we're able to get it. The next other one that I kind of like was Pain and Panic from. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was Disney. Nice as well. uh, yeah. What's that? Hercules. Yeah. Yeah, Hercules. I think it goes really well with Hades as well. The only thing sure. is that it's actually a regular size pop in the sense where it's oh, yeah. the same size as a regular good. box, yeah. but it's just two tiny figures over right. there for pin and pen. Yeah. And okay. it costs a bomb. <laughs> oh, it's so expensive. Yeah, though. it was like fifty dollars oh. in Singapore. Yeah. 
I wonder how many of you guys actually picked that yeah. one up, but it's, I, it's quite a crazy. I'm still tempted yeah. because it goes so well with Hades, but. Oh, yeah. well, let's see. Oh, we, and we do have the Hades stuff. Yeah, we do, yeah. that's right. Um, okay, so Elena Tyrell and um, Imperial Patrol Trooper. Yeah. Let's get into it. Let's show you what guys. What did you guys pick up for SDC? Uh, S DCC, yeah. I think, right. I think... <laughs> That's pretty long time ago. Yeah, though. it was pretty long. I'm not, not even sure some of you guys remember what you yeah. picked up for SDCC. Um, but I love the troopers again. Um, yeah, th there isn't much value for the right. troopers. <laughs> yeah. but I, I do want the um, I, I do shadow like, troopers still though. Yeah, I do like the black and white combination right. for this. Like, oh, as, look at as, that. Um, uh, as opposed to like just yeah. pure white, I think the black really stands out well yeah. here. So check that out. Uh, <laughs> Imperial Patrol Trooper, he hung on to like this pistol thing that kind of yeah. reminds you of the Scout Trooper, if you remember Return of the Jedi. Um, I don't know. Um, yeah, so we have this one. Yeah. It's a little smudge on the... Hey Gary, thanks for dropping hey, in! Hey Gary. Um, there's a little smudge on the helmet there. Yeah, um, I do like the back of the head though. It's like almost fully black. Oh yeah, that's yeah, cool. I think and it it's gloss cool. as well, yeah. so that's pretty nice. Uh -huh. um, let's open up Milana Tyrell as mm -hmm. well. Uh, Again, I love how Star Wars pops are bubble heads. So if you ever decide to put them on like the car top, yeah. the car dashboard, I mean. Yeah, right, really yeah that's awesome, actually like, pretty wobbling. awesome. Yeah. Um, okay, let's... Take out a little oh, tarot. She doesn't, she doesn't have, have a stand. stand. Nope, no stand at all. Yeah. Um, there she is over mm -hmm. here. Pretty cool. Um, okay. Let's. Yeah, I I think what's yeah. really nice about this is that. I'm gonna hop into close up cam. Hang on. Uh, address. Address test. Gonna move it a little bit backwards. And a very move nice the metallic. A bit, yeah. Rose on it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I do like this. Like that um, is yeah, uh, the Tyrell. Of course. The Tyrell Elmbun, yeah. was it? Yeah, uh, motif? House Crest, I think. Is yeah. that what they call that? Uh, motif, yeah, or, or something. But it is a flower, it is a rose, I think. Mm -hmm. um, High Garden is the place. Um, yeah. So how many of you guys actually watch Game of Thrones? <laughs> we love it. Yeah, no Can't spoilers though. <laughs> the new season to come out. And she's holding a cup of wine. Yeah, you know usual. what happened there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I do like how nice. they kind of like bring out her age with right. the wrinkles. Right, so mm -hmm. that's pretty cool. That's very really yeah. nice. Um, and of course her headdress, her headgear, she's mm -hmm. got a jade ring and that looks yeah. like a jade ring, doesn't that it? It looks really yeah. nice. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think they did pretty yeah. well with the folds on the head. Alright, yeah, that, that yeah. did it. Yeah, that did it. Um, again, we are really just cutting down on, on the pops already. Mm -hmm. um, this is actually one of the first Star Wars pops we've got in a long while, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, we have, yeah. <laughs> because we do have a a pretty crazy <laughs> Star Wars collection yeah, outside now. It's, I'm it's, actually, it's gone insane, I'm actually. actually wanting to get another Star Wars pop, though. Oh my god, which one? It's, it's a common one. It's the Valtex? Val Valtex? Oh, that's, yeah, the, the, that's the, the Crystal Fox. It yeah. looks so nice. And I, love I, the... I mean, on the on the other hand, the, uh -huh. the other one I actually wanted from the SECC was Cat Bane. So oh, yeah. I but wonder how many of you guys have gotten that. Yeah, no. no. Rebels. Oh, Rebels, Rebels. Rebels, right. Was it Rebels? Yeah, I, I think it was Rebels. I, I don't really watch animation. A anyway, so. yeah. Um, <laughs> Gary says, uh, I'm just watching season 7. I, I had recorded the whole season. Oh, wow. Will not be disappointed. It yeah. Is a, it's fantastic. It's coming uh, out next we, year, we I think, for the next yeah. season. Right, next year. Yeah. We had to Two wait a whole year, yeah for, yeah, for that to actually work out again. Mm -hmm. um, Alright, so back in the boxes they go. Back in the protectors they go. Um, <laughs> to clear a little bit more space, let's move on. Something else close enough. Um, to Tiny Ghost. Oh yeah, some yeah. like Funko related. Funko related. In terms of the designer. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's Reese O'Brien. Now Reese O'Brien actually designs um, Funko Pop. For mm -hmm. Funko, literally yeah. for, for the company. Yeah. And um, so he has done his own vinyl toy. Mm -hmm. And it has come in the form of a little ghost. And I think some of you guys might have seen um, one that we have showcased before on yeah. the video. It was the basic one that yeah, we got from ToyCon Philippines. Yeah. But lucky enough, um, Tiny Ghost, they actually um, released a very limited amount mm -hmm. of Tiny Ghost for their community. Just yeah. their community. So mm -hmm. if you are in the Tiny Ghost group, um, they actually did a quick uh, a release and shout out kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, it was a very limited amount mm -hmm. and um, it's to prevent flippers from, from hopping in. It's to prevent botting from happening and I think yeah. that is brilliant, especially when it comes to the whole collector industry. Mm -hmm. um, um, it's, it's a very interesting way to actually curb that. Yeah. Um, but other than that, here are these two. This came as a pair. We managed to get this. Um, we do have a robot 
and a zombie <laughs> tiny ghost. Yeah, so yeah. this was their recent uh, drop, a pair, I guess. Yeah. yeah, usually they come in single pieces, but this yeah. came in a pair. There was another one that came in a pair, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, but I oh. can't remember. We are just pretty much new to collecting tiny ghosts. We are, and yeah. this is kind of like the first other colored ones we have. Yeah, the first we have colored the one, actually. Yeah. Yeah, and they are really really hard to get because the yeah. edition sizes for Tiny Ghost so far oh, yeah. does not exceed like 500, I think. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So, it is a little bit crazy. Um, of and course, they get snapped out really, really yeah, quickly. Yeah, they do get snapped out very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, the boxes are nothing too fancy except yeah. the front. There's more of a telltale sign about what the colour is on the inside. Mm -hmm. We've yeah. not opened this yet, uh, ever since we got it. It does say this is a limited zombie edition. Mm -hmm. and, and that says one... a limited robo ghost edition. Oh, it's on the top. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, and yeah, go. it's kind of produced under Bim Toys. Right, Bim Toys. Yeah, so so that is the... Uh, uh, yeah, that's the brand for Riso Brian. Mm. Um, let's actually get to opening it and showing you guys. Um, nothing too uh, fancy with the unboxing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, just want to show you guys the toy itself. Uh, oh wow, wow. what's with that? Okay. Yeah, <laughs> but this looks awesome though. Alright, so I have the zombie uh, zombie edition. Yeah, and I the have the robot. Robo I really, really like the robot edition. Oh, look at that. That's yeah. very nice, isn't it? Um, there we go. Let's show you guys in mm -hmm. close-up cam what the tiny ghost is. Oh, gotta have that. Hang on, hang on for a moment. Mm -hmm. Um, hang on, hang on. <laughs> they squeeze oh, the no, fit I, into the I, light I box. don't think there's enough space for us to <laughs> yeah. show you a close up camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. There they are. Yeah. That's pretty nice actually. Yeah, I, I like the red eyes. Right. They stand out really well yeah, from do. the rest of it. And yeah, the print is pretty awesome. Of course, like with all tiny ghosts, the platform is yeah this ghost shaped thing. Um, I think there isn't much in terms of like, um, I mean, other than the shape, it doesn't, I mean, the shape doesn't change. It's just the painting and the artwork that changes right. from ghost to ghost. Recently though, he has come up with a blind box, a, a smaller yes, size tiny ghost. Yes, it's called Tiny Tiny Ghost. And tiny, I think it's tiny. about this size. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, I think I'm actually like really drawn to the tiny ones because the big ones are kind of like really yeah, big. Yeah, they're going to be really difficult to display exactly. though. Exactly. Right? So the small ones, I'm probably going to like go crazy with those. Oh but my then God. again, they're not like super cheap, I think. Right. But, um, like those of you who are looking out for it, I do know that uh, Simply Toys is actually releasing a, 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 like the sales of it at STGCC. Right. We'll go more into that later, but right. that's something to look out for. For sure. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, so the zombie one, of course, is a very dull color. You look like yeah, he has, I, I do like he has the a eyes shading though. on his eyes, yeah. Yeah, you can see his brain, it's his definite, Oh, no, nah, <laughs> man, he's gone. Yeah, uh, he's The gone. Robo Ghost Edition, of course, um, red eyes, like he said. Yeah. We do have, like, this, this, I don't know what that supposed control to be. Panel? Yeah, control panel or yeah. some shit I, like I that. guess my only gripe is that, that you do see some, like, defects in the paint. Okay. But uh, from what I know, like being in the group as well, when people feedback about it, they are very good with their customer service. So like right. if there's any issue that you have, like contact customer service immediately right. and ask them directly about any issues you have. Right. Yep. So there we Other go. Other than that, Amazing. I think you, yeah. you can try like using some acetone or maybe a weaker chemical solvent to try and remove the... the I guess. Yeah. But you wouldn't want to destroy the paint though. Yeah. Right? yeah. Definitely not. So try I guess water got, first. Oh yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but you just got to be careful of that. But just, I mean, in all honesty, we're still very glad to be able to get this. Yeah. Um, and this we, is a 300 edition size yeah, for each, I think. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and I think the previous edition, they started yeah. off with like 24, 12. Oh, yeah, and then right? there was like 100, 200, yeah, a really, really okay. small edition size. Now it's about 300. Right. Um, good news, guys, he is going to be here at STGCC, yeah. Reese O'Brien himself. Exactly. Yeah, Um, I think Simply Toys does have a Facebook post about uh, getting your Tiny Ghost signed. You do have to actually purchase like a uh, basic Tiny Ghost, mm -hmm. um, which is selling at uh, Simply Toys store now. I think it's 20, only 30 at... 20 bucks. 30 bucks. Yeah, that 30 plus sense. bucks, I think. I think it's um at Flower Sing. I'm not sure whether any bucks? of the other... 30 bucks. Don't sell them. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it'll be the Plaza Sing store. Yeah. I did see somebody posted online uh, um, 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 the boxes of the, the, the yeah. original colored tiny ghost. Yeah, I think there is enough right. stock. I don't think they're out yeah. of stock there. 
yet. Yeah. yeah so we've got our hands on some of the original colors, and we are thinking of doing a custom. Custom, on that. yeah. That'd be dope. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully, we we can get that. Uh, uh, I don't think we can get that done in time. Yeah, but um, but super still, happy with this. Yeah, these managed are, to get this. Like this is one of my favorite colorways. I think I, really? I love the like sheen, okay. the metallic sheen of this, yeah. and the eyes, the eyes. Oh the yeah, the eyes is cool. <laughs> um, it looks like the red button, yeah. you know, you press. <laughs> right. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hey, Angel, Norman, Angel. Eric, and Joshua. Welcome thank you for in. dropping. Thank yeah. you for, for for leaving a. You know, chatting with us. Yeah, um, and, and um, we kind of miss you because it's been so long yeah, since yeah. our live stream. <laughs> um, it has been two weeks actually. Yeah. Um. Um. Now, Evan also asks, mm-hmm. all right? Would you pay forty dollars to get a tiny girl sign? It kind of depends. Um. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure yeah. in, in in um in other countries, the US and stuff like that, you do you have pay to pay more to get as well. yeah to get the autographs. So it is yeah. normal. I think it's just more of an Asian thing that we are not used to accustomed paying to paying for that. Yeah. Um. After all, it does. Um, um, for for example, for companies like Simply Toys mm-hmm. and um, hopefully Rookie Collectibles in the future, <laughs> um, to bring artists in, yeah, um, you, you have to pay them. Yeah, you have yeah. to pay them, I think, or, for their hotel, yeah, their accommodation, a, a maybe sh- Yeah, gets. and those shit's not going to come cheap. Yeah. And uh, if you're going to pass that on to your... Um, the, I mean, there's no right way to do it. You mm-hmm. can either pass it on, take it, make a loss on that, yeah. um, and still have uh, uh, unthankful customers. Yeah. Let's hope not, right? But, um, yeah. so yes... Um, I unfortunately I think there might be a fee involved, but I think if you actually purchase the, the ghost there, mm-hmm. um, you get like yeah. one or two autographs. Yeah, free for something your along that yeah, line. We'll so pull out it's the, uh, yeah. the post later, but yeah, we'll get into that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. maybe let's see. Let's see how that one goes. Uh-huh. Um, I still think yeah, m- maybe at a cost, but. Well, yeah, uh, we'll at see least how it's that. something that comes with a purchase of yeah, toy and not just I, I buying suppose, it by itself. I suppose, I yeah. suppose. Uh, uh, um, I mean, recently I actually saw on the internet, uh, mm-hmm. um, um, there are people uh, in, in overseas Funko groups actually who has actually wanted to get the pop sign for Hulk. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, there's a little bit of a, a touchy point there because um, the moment someone passes a Funko Pop to the actor, uh-huh. um, he actually wanted to charge more <gasps> for the, oh, really? for the So that, wow. there are stories of that happening. But um, isn't it common to have like toy sign? Yeah, yeah but they, they do Funko charge Pops. for that. No, because I mean, the, these people are, however, uh, actors that were famous in the past and now I, I think these are kind of ways that yeah, they yeah. could get their money back mm, uh, and stuff like though. that. So it's a bit sad in a way, but yeah. it's unfortunate that the whole industry is now revolving around stuff like that. But yeah. anyways... But I guess signatures yeah. do raise the price of It the does pie, though, it does. It adds like that sentimental value to it, so... Yeah. Yeah. We'll see how... Yeah, but let's just hope none of that happens here. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's hope we have a more healthy environment over yeah. here to actually do what we want to mm-hmm. do. Um, but yes... Um, yeah, moving down the comments. Norman um, asks, where do you get... Where do you guys get these? Right, so, so, um, these are sold on Bin Toys, the right, website. Toys website. Yeah, Tiny yeah. Ghost. I think if you search like Tiny Ghost Shop or something like that, you'll yeah. probably find like the first uh, search. Oh, we, we, we managed to get... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, we purchased these yeah. on the website. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, other than that... Um, I've got the ticket for the signature, but can I use it to sign a Funko Pop? I, I don't think there is any restriction. I, I'm not sure, to yeah. be honest, but I yeah. don't think Reese O'Brien would be against signing any Funko Pop. Yeah. yeah. I, I think it should be okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know which one he has designed? The yeah! Video, video, video <laughs> or what do you want signed from him? Yeah, let yeah. us know, let us know. Alright, I'm gonna put these back in the box. Um, let's see. Next up! We want to talk about a little bit more of a designer toy stuff already. Uh-huh. Uh, moving on towards that, let's see. Yeah. Uh, uh, recently, Cheryl picked up something from um, <laughs> Ozo Collection. Ozo Collection is our local designer toy store. Right. Yep. Uh, so picked up something from there. It is actually from Konatsu. Okay. <laughs> it is a... Konatsu, uh, yeah. It's a yeah. Japanese uh, designer. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it looks so bright on the front camera. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Norman says I want to let him sign a Star Wars pop as he designs Star Wars pop. Right? Yeah, I think he does. I think he does. Yeah. Uh, um, not not too sure. I mean, yeah, I, I, I guess... don't think they really tie back the the yeah. the, the, the toys back to the artist because they're oh, all branded. They? Yeah. Under oh Funko. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. they don't. So but I think it really probably takes. Probably somewhere it was mentioned that correct. Like there are different designs. I think it takes more of a. Uh, I mean, you guys will know. You guys are uh, much more insane than we are. Yeah, or like <laughs> a lot more pro at finding information. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't Singapore know where to right? find those stuff yeah. sometimes. Um, so yeah. How did you get the ticket for the signature though? You buy, you buy. Ah, yeah. They're, they're right, supposed to right. um, open up at the Simply Toys ah, page. Ah, right okay, okay, okay. But yeah. 
we'll, we'll, we'll pick it to that later probably. Uh-huh. But anyways. Hey, Kunatsu, yes. Um, Negora. There we go. So Negora, it's a Godzilla cat. <laughs> Two-tailed yeah. Godzilla cat. Yeah. yeah. So this colorway, so Negora has like plenty of colorways. This one in particular is called the Diamond Dust Edition. Yep. It kind of looks like an Arctic like icy arctic yeah. version i really like the blue paws and like the glitter inside yep. um the only gripe i have but i won't say gripe because the designer toy is a designer toy <laughs> um but yeah usually nagara has its spines yep. like colored in two different colors um i've only seen like pictures of this nagara from the front so i didn't know that the back was kind of like just plain yeah but it still looks nice but i mean like, at, at least as well the, the paw and the tip of his yeah, uh, tail mm-hmm. is uh is what's that baby blue Sky yeah blue? exactly and Something it also good. comes in two other like designs yeah. for Konatsuya. I think there is a fox design which right. surprisingly sold out even faster than Nagora. I'm oh yeah, that did. Sure. Yeah, at least yeah. locally it did. Um, again, we are not sure. Yeah, um, it could have been that he brought in lesser pieces of yeah, that fox. Yeah, it could be as well. Yeah, I, uh, I was deciding between the two but I decided like since most of my collection is on Nagora anyway, I'll just pick up Nagora. Right. Cheryl yeah. does love the Negora. I do, I love uh, it. Nash says, nice colour. Wasted, there is no colour. Yeah, I know, right, too. Nash. I'm so like, uh, I'm a little bit disappointed, but okay, I'm just going to face it in the yeah. front. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, hide Evano the back. says, yeah, it's disappointing. The back is not painted. I think that's kind of like a huge gripe everyone's facing. Yeah, but I guess like the only the only way I can like give a saving grace to it is that it looks kind of like ice, like icicles. It does though, it does. <laughs> yeah, but even if you spray painted blue, I think it look even nicer. Yeah. But yeah, okay, I'm going to face it in the front. <laughs> okay, I mean, that works where it is but again yeah. uh, so this is by Kanatsu yeah uh-huh. Kanatsu yeah. Um, again if you are looking for more details uh, you can actually search there there we go I'm just going to show you the website mm-hmm. kanatsuya.ko uh, dash natsu.jp yeah do follow her Instagram I think it's like Konatsuya Tunaken or something like that right. she does like a, a painting a day which is awesome because it her is artwork crazy is really though. nice yeah. it looks something like that but colored like I mean her style yep. yeah which I really really love but this is pretty cool uh, mm-hmm. again what you see here is the diamond dust collection for the Negora yeah. there is an arctic fox edition as yeah. well and I there's a bigger the one I pink <laughs> oh yeah it's, ah, so cute. that's a very nice and touch the, actually, and the things are silver I never oh, realised wow. yeah, so nice. the attention to detail there is actually pretty cool yeah I mean it looks simple but yeah there's something about designer toys that make people pay for yeah uh, um, collecting plastic hey! hey It's been a while man Yeah Okay um, He says I'm so out of touch With the designer toy community But it's fun hearing you guys Talk about it Thank oh, you right, yeah. yeah Thanks for dropping I in I your intro yeah. I'm gonna like yeah. Oh yeah <laughs> Yeah I love That's your intro true. Um, Gary says I like that cat We do too Yeah Yeah we do too oh, like all cats no, I've okay, got almost. the um, GID edition That Cheryl bought for me Yeah That's That was I really like nice. that. Yeah I like that yeah. Uh, Anyways Moving on really quickly um, we bought one of these recently. Bam! Yeah. Check it out. This is a uh, Molly by Molly. Kenny's, Kenny's work. Works. Kenny, Kenny is a Hong Kong designer. Yeah, right? he is a Hong Kong artist. Um, so it's done uh, yeah, in, in collaboration with Popmart. Popmart. Popmart yeah. is a store, an online store, and I think a physical store in China mm, as yeah. well. Yeah, I think they do a lot of um, collaborations to do blind boxes as well. Oh right, like yeah. these especially. Mm-hmm. So I'm pretty sure they've got their own suppliers yeah. and stuff like that, but so it's pretty cool. we picked this one up because it's really hard to get Molly in Singapore. I mean, one of the sources is to get them from Taobao, which is right. our Chinese uh, shopping website. Um, but this time, we actually went to Action City and we came across Molly blind boxes. Right. And we were really surprised, but again, Molly pieces are really expensive. I think this one's yeah. going for like 15 Oh, is that? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's about something 15, like that. 15, like, cost yeah. of a pop, but yeah, you don't get uh, like a guarantee on what you want to get because yeah. it is a blind box. That's true, though. Yeah, um, I'm really gunning for one of the Queen Kings. Uh, yeah. yeah. Let's take a I'm, look at the. Oh, there's no assortment rate. There is no assortment rate. But there is rate. a I, secret. Yeah, there is a secret. I think it's a, I think it's an equal assortment rate, if I'm not wrong. Um, I right. do like both colorways. Blue and silver looks dope. Gold and red looks dope. So, yeah. Alright, let's, let's see what we let's see what we'll get. What are you gunning for? Is there any particular design that you like? Uh yeah, I, I, I take taking or queen as well. I think <laughs> uh, yeah, that one's something that everybody wants. Yeah. Yo, let's see. Uh oh, it comes in a another bag. Oh, inside. there is something else inside. Oh, there you go. I think this is it's a stand, stand for the yeah. chest piece. That's it. There's a card here as well. What does yeah. the card say? Oh. <gasps> is that we... a king? Ah, ah, really? Wow. Did we get that? <laughs> Cards in, in another plastic, yeah. but I, I think Pop Mart might oh have just God. skimmed on this that. Is so awesome. Oh, wow, game. that's pretty nice. Yeah, on the first pull, nice. That's Look at the cool. crown. The one thing about Kenny's work is that 
his um paint job is impeccable. Right. It's really, really well done. And the the what this distinguishing feature of Molly's is the pouty lips and her very high like flattened cheekbones. Yeah. <laughs> and the kind of like blank uh look in her eyes. But wow. What that cool. is crazy. This is this is nice though. Um, yeah. Oh, this this is so glad to get this. I love the silver finish on the crown. I think Look it's to really self, well time. Let's not pick up the card first. Yeah. <laughs> it I'll gives us a more there. surprise if we actually just yeah. go. Yeah. Yeah, but My wow, I'm so, I'm so happy. That is a nice piece, man. I, yeah. I like that. Oh man, imagine if you have the whole set. Imagine the amount of money you have to spend. That is true <laughs> though, but if you're going to play chess with these, oh man. Yeah. That's going to be so fun. Yeah. So fun. Really nice though. That ah, is cool. I'm so happy with this. The paintwork is so well done. Yeah, Molly's a pretty nice. Yeah, Molly also has this uh what uh mo on the side of her eye. Right, there we go. Yeah, so oh, uh, Evan also says Action City suddenly bringing in a bunch of Molly's. Yeah, thankfully, and 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 I mean they have always had the uh what's that baby thing called? Uh, Cupid. Oh, sunny. Oh, Sunny Angel. Oh, Sunny Angel. Yeah. 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 Also, uh, a Hong we, Kong design. I think. I think so. so. I mean, but we've not remember. we've not been collecting that. I so. I'm not um yeah. I have no preference towards yeah. this because like I think the entire nakedness exactly. with the design <laughs> <laughs> I don't know just yeah. what I think. Uh, finally caught one of your live streams. Uh, I always see them in my feet after the fact. <laughs> That's, thank you so much. Thank you so thank much. You so much. much. Yeah, but so glad to have you here. Yeah. Last time. Yeah. Um. Nash says matching color of the Nagora. That's yeah, true, that's though. right. That's true. If you actually put them side by side, I show them like that. Check, uh. it, out. Check it out. It is matching colors though. I guess we know where Molly's wow. going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cheryl's gonna take it. <laughs> okay, um, yeah. let's clear all these aside for now. It's a little bit too bright still. Yeah, Angel and says the Molly I want is a SpongeBob one. Um, oh boy, that's that something one. that we all do. Uh. Yeah, that one sold out really quickly. Yeah. I think it's going for like like a hundred and fifty dollars, but it's slightly bigger at this size, more expensive oh, really? now. But oh, no. I just saw a post for one of the yeah. designer cons in China. I can't remember whether it's yeah. Beijing or Shanghai, the one that's yeah. ongoing at the same time as mm, SDGCC. Mm. They have a wooden molly. Like yeah. the SpongeBob with the molly, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that's it looks true, really, that's really true. awesome. But yeah, yeah, I wish that one day they'll come over to the like the Unbox well. Industries. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anyways, let's continue. Now, <laughs> let's talk about SDGCC. That will be happening next weekend. Mm -hmm. Singapore Toy Games Damn, yeah. Comic Convention. We're going to be busy as crap next yeah. weekend. Well. Um, but that, that also does mean, Angel, you'll be here in Singapore too, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm so excited to have you come over, Angel. We've been yeah. a little bit busy to follow up, but yeah, yeah. do let us know all your details yeah. coming in. So we're going to be planning a lot of stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, depends how many of you guys will be going down. Uh, then again, uh, it will be cool to get the whole rookie nation together. So now at the midpoint, it'll be good. It'll be a good segue for me to plug in. Um, we do have a group. So sorry, I had a call. Yeah, uh, I, we are I, live again. Yeah, we are live again. Are you, do you guys see me? Uh, are we? Are we? All right. Okay, we, uh, back. I think we're back. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I, I just got a call. Uh -huh. uh, um, yes. So um, what were we talking about? Oh my god, I was plugging halfway. I was doing my advertising halfway. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to scroll my friend later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, there should be a non call function during live stream. YouTube, if you're watching this, please update it. Uh, anyways, um, we have a group called Rookie Nation. It's for <laughs> all you guys to get together uh, on Facebook. Yeah. Um, share about your latest. Yeah. Like, it's pickups. super random. And, yeah. and anything that you want to just share toys, with each other. Funko, design right. the toys, Again, new it's releases. Rookie Space Nation. Yeah. So just. Go there, um, yeah, join yeah. the group. Uh, we can talk about anything under the sun about I, toys. I think so yeah. far, we have shared a lot of links about where you can get free toys. Yeah, but, you know, like, a lot of giveaways yeah, and you stuff. Get a chance to uh, win. Yeah, and, and moving on, to be very honest with you guys, we are doing a little, we have a little bit of projects on the site with regards to toys. And hopefully, uh, if those do well, yeah, um, first news through. yeah, mm -hmm. will naturally go to Rookie Nation, yep. uh, the group first, followed by our Facebook page. Mm -hmm. But yes, advertisement over. <laughs> let's get to talking about Singapore Toy, toy Game Games and Comic, Comic Convention. Yeah. Um, let's begin. Yeah, with, we want to focus um, more on the toy aspect. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there are a lot of toys that people do collect. There's like XM Studios, there's yeah. like Hot Toys, Beast yeah. Brothers. Yeah. But we want to focus more on designer toys. Mm. And like also the toys that we collect, like um, BIM toys, <laughs> <laughs> like maybe some Tokidoki yeah. stuff. We talk about that, but we focus more on the designer toy yeah. aspect first. 
Yeah, so first off, All let's right. look at who's coming. This year, mm -hmm. um, a thousand toys will be back just yeah. like last year. Mm -hmm. um, but this time, they are bringing in quite a couple of people that we are uh, excited about. Super excited. Yeah. Let <laughs> me just show you the screen for yeah. a moment. There we go. Uh, we have Thousand Toys, they're gonna bring in Kaori Hinata and she's the designer of this guy here. Yeah. That is Morris. The cat with antlers. Oh, the cat with antlers. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. With, with mice in the hoodie. Oh, with, yeah. Can you see the mice? Yeah. There we go. Uh, Nakao Tepe, uh, we'll show you what kind of toys he does later. Uh -huh. uh, Teresa Chiba, who actually does the Cheng Cheng Inu Harigon. Yeah. If you have not watched that episode yet, please go catch it. Uh, yeah, so, um, um, we actually created a episode that talked entirely the about the Inu Harigon. Yeah. yeah. Teresa Chiba was actually um, supposed to be here last year, but she wasn't able to make it. So this year, I think she's really here this time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and of course, Yasu, which uh, who's the artist of the Ebi Neko. Also, if you do see the MVP boxes uh, of the DC Comics um, Batman uh, from the Medicom series, the designer was also her. Yeah, so in case you guys are wondering, the little like um, toys over here, these are from the VAG series. Yep. These are from Medicom, Medicom yep. toy company that kind of like make a gacha version of right. these designer toys. There we yeah. go. And of course, um, he's here every year, Simone Elenio, um, the founder, designer of Tokidoki. Yeah. There we go. There he is. Mm -hmm. Um. That yeah. is that for the the main uh, designer toy. Yeah, at least those that are currently already on the website. There yeah, are yeah. also other p designers There's as well. There's other designers as well, yeah. yeah. Um. Okay, let me tell you what mm -hmm. will be easier is if we move the laptop. Uh, in front? Uh, yeah, no, in oh. front of you. And then you scroll and I... Because it's going to be very difficult for me to hold the camera and scroll at the same time. Yeah, okay. Some um, reorg. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm just throwing something away. You gotta see my face. <laughs> for a my moment. face as well. Oh my god. Ah, it's very difficult to. Okay. <laughs> sorry for the intermission. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get my face for the intermission. Yeah. Okay. Back in. There you go. So this is Yasu, Teresa, Shirakari, Hinata, Nakao, Tepe. And there you go. You can have more information about what they do here, but let's look at their toys. So Nakao, Tepe. I hope I pronounced that right. Yeah. Uh, it's designer of this toy called Sushi LA or Sushi La. LA. <laughs> Using <of> LA yeah. <laughs> there you go. So he does like um this kaiju like toy uh of sushi. Yep. Yeah, and I think this is actually the flop version that was released at Toy Soul as well. And there's a fatty tuna. Yeah, close ups. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I think it was pretty popular. And this is done uh uh in collaboration with Sentinel, I believe. Yeah. Do the full screen so that it gets easier for. Mm -hmm. This is a DIY version. I think slightly smaller. Yeah. I like how you can actually separate the pieces, right. like the rice and the top as well. Yeah, That's and there is cool. this um special edition called Wasabi Overkill. Uh, it's kind of like uh, toxic. <laughs> with like cross eye, I think that's pretty cute. It, it is very cute. It says Sushi LA is just <laughs> yeah. for play. Please, Please don't, don't eat. eat. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, this is Nakao Tepe's toys. You can find out more here uh, on to the Toy Chronicle. Yeah, Toy Chronicle is an awesome resource for everything on designer toys. Next up, Yasu here's Yasu Ebineko. Ebineko. Now she's bringing in a ton, <laughs> yeah. a ton of limited colorways. Look at that, wow. and there is a Singapore edition with the Singapore flag on his forehead. Oh uh, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't remember the name Oops of the toys um, right off the top of my head. But we have Abineko, which is this, like, um, this version. This is also Abineko. Um, there is also the Gecko Dragon, which I think is this guy. Right. Uh, there is a Tree Eye Shark. This is a Nemo version. This guy, uh, Bakineko is this guy. I actually really like the design of Bakineko. Oh, yeah, I love, like, the, the big green and the really awesome eyes. Right. Yeah, and these will all be at STGCC. My goodness. Yeah, this is actually a colorway exclusive to... Summer Soul or Toy Soul? Yeah. Um, I think it's called um Sakura something. Uh, yeah, Sakura Nishikigoi. Nishik. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so a really cool thing about it is that it comes with a collar, a Japanese Japanese style collar with like a Sakura. Yep. Um, what's that? A hanging. Oh, what do you I, call I, that? I, I, yeah. I, <laughs> something you know, Sakura hanging from his collar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this was actually what wow. was released um at Toy Soul, I think. Um, a few months back. 
So there oh, was like yeah. this colorway which was very predominantly black, white, and red. So they are going red. to bring that to SDGCC. I am not sure actually. I'm actually hoping for a more exclusive colorway, but I guess. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Yes, yeah, so uh, did come back to that this? picture. Then. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not sure whether the other designers. So will. I think this is um, it's interesting because I don't think the T will be there. I'm not sure. I don't yeah. think uh, Dan will Dan be there. Dan will be there. Oh, Dan will be there. I'm not sure. I I saw a, maybe he might not be there, but I'm guessing a few pieces of his toy at least will. Right. Yeah, because I did see a uh, hashtag for then. And, and and Hikari Bambi? I'm, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess... Yeah, okay. we only have Anyways, a confirmation on these two let's, coming. Okay. Yeah. Anyways, let's move back and let's see uh, 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 what else other than this. So again, um, here's a quick showcase of what's going on. Yeah. Hi. Right. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I, I'm actually like looking at picking this one up and maybe this Flocked one up. <laughs> shrimp one is incredible that's what <laughs> yeah I know yeah. Kai says am I late no you are not no late. you're not yeah. yeah we're just on the topic of STGCC and what you can get there alright next up this is so <laughs> oh, nice yes I think this is actually really really popular in the US yeah. um, it's by Andrew Bell right. um, the Kill Cat series I think like one of the big toy retailers actually stock these and yeah. they go for a pretty penny um, right. like in terms of like the smaller edition sizes one this one is the too much sake edition right. it's the <laughs> teme no tsuke yeah and ah. I really like the transition like the colorway um, yeah one of the kill cats right. is knocked out <laughs> oh yeah and the he other dude's like uh, look at his eyes man <laughs> They really had too much sake. Yeah. Uh, I think we'll be trying to get our hands on this as well. Yeah, we will. Okay. Um, th there is, this is actually an edition size of 150. My god. Yeah, there will be only 50 pieces oh, at no. SDGCC. The other 100 pieces will be sold online. Yeah, right. and there you go. I think they are actually packaged exactly like how yeah, a Kit Kat will be. Yeah. And tidbit, there is actually a sake flavoured. Kit Kat as well. That is so cool. I, I tried it. I think it was pretty what? nice. What? Really? <laughs> Someone from Japan actually uh, like uh, gave, a so gave it oh, to me as wow. a souvenir. Yeah. This is so nice though. Yeah, I, it's I like so this, nice. Yeah. I hope it doesn't like get snapped out really, really quickly. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Uh, 150 units. Only 50 will be taken to Singapore. Yeah. Oh, so September 12th is uh, simultaneously in Tome no Suke. Yep. So you store. can get your hands on these uh, as well. But again, just head to the Toy Chronicle and, 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 and find out more here. Yeah, okay. Let's look at what's next. Ah, uh, <laughs> this is Kurobuka. Um, so you remember this guy. He's uh, Nimbus. Nimbus, uh, yeah. He daydreams. That's so why he's always sleeping all the time. <laughs> he was at STGCC last year. Yeah, and I think his toy sold out pretty quickly as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That did. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the first of new series uh, that they call the American Kennel Club inspired series I think it's more of the colorway I think right yeah. I wonder why also but we <laughs> will see we can't wait um, um, to say hi to them again at SCGCC yeah uh, and uh, yeah yeah I really like his cheeks <laughs> that's really cute though yeah and oh, oh sorry that was uh, my bad yeah, you do check out their Facebook page right. as well. I think I did see a, a vinyl of this uh, design as well last year. Not okay. sure whether they bring it in again. Right. Yeah, next up, we have it's our local so toy designer. So, Nebby Art is someone else that you should really take a look at. Um, here he has uh, three designs, actually. Yeah. In very glitter fashion that will be coming to the STGCC. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, he'll be at booth AA72. Um, and you'll be selling this guy. So this is the Samego. It's kind of like a shark. Yeah, and I like this colorway because it's kind of like painted out from the inside out. So you can oh, see yeah, like some right. part of the resin that's still clear. I yeah. That. Yeah, that's so cool. Uh, oh, oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, look at that. That gold though. Yeah, the glitter. And this is our local uh, MRT. Yeah, so, so Samego <laughs> takes the subway. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah. Who is Sa Sa Bling, oh. bling. Sorry, just, uh, just really quickly. There we go. Uh, over here, it says, Samego is an adorable, good-natured baby shark monster. Kaiju. Constantly challenging boundaries and in a spot of rascality. So that's pretty cool. We can't wait to see this. Oh, is this a GID version? Ah, uh, yes. Wow. Oh, so there is another exclusive one? The GID go in the dark, inside out? Right. Yeah, I am not sure. I have not seen this like um, uh, I, I promoted. I do like the GID I do like one. It. Though. We yeah. will look out for this one. <laughs> we are going to look out for this one. Yeah. Um, but we'll definitely show that to you guys as well. Yeah. Um, next up. 
We have. This is actually a Malaysia toy designer. Right. Yeah. So I'm not sure whether we saw them and last year. Oh boy, so there's two of them. Yeah. Uh, are they collaborating? Yeah, they are. There I think this go. is a collaboration. It looks kind of wacky. Nice. <laughs> yeah, and, and he also does some. Uh, What's this? Uh, durian monster? Oh, no, wow. it's a hippo. It's a but hippo. this is a durian. Durian is actually a local fruit in Singapore. Right. Uh, in, in Asia, actually. Yeah. There you go. I, I'm not... Um, I was wearing like the Malaysian... <laughs> yeah. I'm not actually very familiar with their toys yet. But yeah, let's see what they have to offer right. as TGCC. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, next up. What else are we gonna show you guys? Uh, there, there we you go. go. So I'm, I'm a boy X Tech. Right, that's gonna be cool. Yeah. So let's let's see them. Let's mm -hmm. hope we can catch them and say hi. And we actually this found out so that there cool. is this other designer that was coming. I really, really like. Yellowing and sunny. Yeah, I really like the style of this. Sunny <laughs> and cloudy. So sorry, it's sunny and cloudy weather shop. That's what it called. Yeah, <laughs> that's quite I cute. I stopped at sunny. Yeah, I I really like the style. Um, I'm not sure how big it is. It's hard to tell from here. Nice. Yeah, there's a very Halloween vibe. Like pretty much. That's really nice though. Yeah, and I really like the style of this as well. That's really cool. Yeah, it's like a wolf in sheep's clothing, except... Except not really. She yeah. killed the wolf <laughs> and she decided to wear its head on her head as a cap. <laughs> I hope not, but yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it looks be, like. They will also be featuring their toys at STGCC. Yep. So do look out for them if you like their design. Nice. And we also have this other Precious junks Oh it's awesome 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 Their, their style actually reminds me of Cost Toys in a bit yep. In a way Yeah with the very like this thing. so nice though scalp. Obe the Orangutan and Kiko Yeah Orangutan in particular is also like very native to our region So I think it's pretty unique Right Yeah Oh look at that The colorway is so awesome though there wow. you go. I do like this as well, the toucan. Oh, wow. Yeah, and wow, I'm re actually really looking forward to what they have to offer. That's pretty cool. Yeah, and oh, they also have this, this is wolf. There you go, this is the real so, wolf in yeah. sheep's clothing. Yeah, this is a <laughs> real legit wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and there will actually be a um, night edition of Kiko. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure whether it's this version, okay. but yeah, it's something to look forward to again. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's hope we can see more over there. Yeah, so these guys look like pretty good digital artists as well, which kind of like brought right. their toys to life in uh, Exactly. Form. Yep, and uh, we Evanel also... says he's definitely checking out Sunny and Cloudy. Jack, yeah. Jack says the token is cool. It sure is. I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hope it's featured there. Sometimes they don't sell the toys, but they do have like one for display. For future releases. Right. Yeah. We Toys Gallery. Hey, Livia. Thanks for dropping in. Hey, Livia. Uh, we Toys Gallery at STGCC. Ooh, yeah. so what are these? I'm Let's actually not very familiar with this artist, but they are from, from Thailand. Thailand. And I think I have seen like um, one of their toys at uh, featured in the pa Beijing or one of the China exhibitions for toy shows. Oh. Yeah, and this is pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. It's like, like a goldfish, you know, like goldfish with the... Like, oh, yeah. Shoes. Yeah. Very Chinese That's inspired. true, that's true. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There's the clear ones. Yeah, this is the one I've seen. Kokon. That's yeah, the name of this. It's the ice cream giant. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Looks pretty badass. That's the original colorway that you're looking at right yeah, here. Yeah, you can see like the, the Thai inspiration behind it. They kind yeah. of have like the Tosakan fangs. There is yeah. there <laughs> is only 50 pieces of this on the Facebook page, I see. I, I'm not sure if they actually have more in production, but yeah, that's but, still interesting. Yeah, let's see what they have at SDGCC. Yep. Yeah. There Again, you go. so these are from Toys Are Evil. That's the and that's the other blog that actually you should find out more about if mm -hmm. you are into designer toys. Um, so do check them out as well. Toys Are Evil dot mm -hmm. He's local as well, right? Yeah, he is Singaporean. Yeah. Um, flipping the bird <laughs> by Chicken Air. Do we need a sensor this? Creon. I don't think so, right? No, nah, it's okay. I'm cool with that. <laughs> yeah. As long as we are all cool with that. Um, look at that. Uh, yeah, this guy. Is Manila, from Manila based. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. He has a company called Evil Genius Clothing Company. That's pretty cool. Yeah, making toys uh, other than clothing. Yeah. <laughs> so he actually did a custom of Tech 63. Tech 63 from Quicks is from at Quicks. STGCC. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, that's there we go. Yeah, I think it's his first design. So it's toy. really, literally, a chicken flipping you <laughs> off. Um. I think it. It's. It's. Yeah. It doesn't get any better, and it's pretty yeah. cool. <laughs> it doesn't look very big, but again, you can't really tell from pictures. Do check them out when he you're. He is SDGs. flipping you off, though. <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah. So there you go, Kron. There we go. It's an AA twenty four. If you're actually around. Um, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, we? there we go. Okay, so I think that's pretty much what we got for designer toys right. for now. But uh, I think there's still a lot of news being released along the week. Like, you know, sometimes news for conventions like this come really, really late. Right. Yeah, so do check out like STGCC. Right. And, and as you, you guys Reese have O'Brien. already known, Reese O'Brien will be here. Mm-hmm. Uh, he'll be at booth A11. Um, and uh, yeah, so just get your autograph pass from Simply Toys by purchasing a tiny ghost yeah. at a Simply Toys store. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, we will see if we can catch him as well. Catch him, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, and ask him a couple of questions. Yeah. And, and I guess you guys would love to see that, right? Mm-hmm. Let's hope so. Hopefully, we can get to do that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Next up, we have wow. tiny, tiny ghosts. Tiny ghosts. Yeah. These mini tiny ghosts are in blind, uh, in blind bags will be available for sale at STGCC themselves as well. And they're also available in a carton of 12 different designs yeah. as you can see. I kind of right said there isn't like the zombie and the robot one. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, but I do like the GID one for this one. I do like the GID. Yeah, the GID is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty awesome to custom like maybe trial, uh, Tra- you trial and try. error on the small ones I, first. I actually do like this one. Yeah. The, the transparent one. Yeah, if, if only yeah. there was a way to paint it out from the inside out. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. This is really nice yeah. as well, the x-ray. Is and, this x-ray uh, or skeleton? I, I can't remember. Right. Also, in case you're wondering how much, thank you Chin Yuan for asking. <laughs> uh, they are twelve ninety each and 10% discount <laughs> for members. Yeah. Yes, but anyways, that's pretty nice. I do like the most arch one. Yeah, cool monsieur. Well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, that's yeah. with that. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Kylo! Lightsaber. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, and what uh, else do we have? Toki right, Toki. Action City will also be at STGCC yeah. and they are going to be releasing Tokidoki's new Unicorn Metallico Series <laughs> 3. I kind of um, want to do a check. special mention of this because they are exclusively as the exclusively <laughs> sold at STGCC. Yeah, My god. Metallic is always awesome. Oh, so, look, yeah. hey, that's that, that dude. Yeah, Cleo? Cleo. Yeah, yeah, Cleo. Yeah, oh, wow, Cleo, you remember Cleo from Cleopatra. Yeah. Ah, yes, Papa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but very nice. Um, Yeah. Action City, if you're watching this. Yeah, I, I do see a lot of We people. could use a box. <laughs> We could use we, any toy, no? Yeah, that's true though. <laughs> we start we, the we, we, could, yeah. <laughs> we could use, we could unbox it for you. Let's yeah. do it! <laughs> okay, okay. Kenny, if you're watching this. <laughs> We're joking, but you're yeah, not joking, kind nah. of, okay? Uh, okay, um, but here, then again, if you are a Tokidoki collector, this is definitely something that you want to find. Uh, yeah. <coughs> again, exclusively sold at STGCC 2018. Yeah. So get your hands on this while it lasts. Yeah. Really. Last year when we were at STGCC, Toki Doki stuff sold out by the second day. Right. Toki Doki did a collaboration with Bearbrick. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Adios, and, uh, the Adios Bearbrick. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny. So we missed yeah. it, and we kind of like wanted to pay forty dollars more for that Bearbrick. No one wanted to sell yeah. us. Not on Carousel at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So the Bearbricks and Toki Doki. They are an awesome combination, but I think that color in particular, yeah. we really loved it. Exactly. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. But, please guys. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay, okay, next up! On. Yeah, next up! <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Toki Doki, check that out. There are more Toki Doki stuff. Yeah, so, so they have vinyls as well. This is kind of like, I can't remember the name of this guy. Oh, Salaryman Tiger, yeah. <laughs> Salaryman Tiger. <laughs> they got to do a version of this in Singapore, right? Of course, like Singaporeans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my we'll goodness. There is a bubble tea Yes, I wanted to, to mention God. this one. Look at that. <laughs> we know our friends that would love that. Yeah. And oh. is that badminton or it's tennis? Yeah. Oh yeah, he he's playing he's playing that with his pole. <laughs> Check that out, guys! What the hell? Yeah. Okay. Pretty, anyways, pretty anyways, cool. anyways. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that's it, right? That's that's all we have to yeah, talk about. Yeah, that's all we uh, have so as of now. Um, um, if there's anything else that we do find out about SDGCC, we'll share it too. Oh yes. Rookie Nation? Rookie Nation. Rookie Nation, yeah. Please guys, follow the Rookie Nation <laughs> Facebook group. Uh, uh, and let's have just discussions there. If yeah. you have anything that you want to share, just share it there. Mm-hmm. Um, it's 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 um, that's nest. To be very frank, it's not a. It's, it's, it's not a big group. Yeah. <laughs> it can get bigger. <laughs> it can get bigger. Yeah. And as of now, it's not one. It's not a group that we have a very definite purpose. We just yeah. want everyone, all the toy collectors, to have fun just to share with each other over there. The toys that you like, the toys that you find exactly. out about. Uh, and, and, and we want to create a, a non-toxic environment as well. Mm. So it's just there, whatever you want to share, whatever you want to, uh, to, to just tell people, you want to show your collection, show it. Yeah. Uh, you want to just talk about a single toy 
talk about yeah, it. Yeah, do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We would very much love mm-hmm. that. But anyway, let us know what you guys are looking out for at STGCC. Yeah, that's uh, cool I guess I want to talk a little bit about the Funko stuff as well. There will be Ooh, a yes. Simply Toys booth there. So I guess there will be Funko. I also heard that there might be yeah. some exclusive being released. But yeah. uh, it won't be as like... um. It won't be like probably the, the Malayans that was released two years ago. Probably like some of the harder to get exclusives right. that they are bringing in and keeping yeah. just for STGCC. Hopefully, um, yeah. Do wait for news for that. But other than that, like do check out Tiny Ghost as well. Um, I think the hype is kind of like starting to grow. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, let's head to the comment section for a while before we yep. continue. Mm-hmm. Um, Livia says, yes, get your Tiny Ghost sign. do it. <laughs> We will. Yeah. Uh, um, all right. Uh, Covered Spy says, oh shit, nice, nice. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Livia says, x-ray. Yeah, I really ghost. like the Gary, x-ray version. But Gary likes the skeleton also. one. Really expensive. Yeah, yeah pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, unfortunately, not the not the big-sized one though. I think yeah. those are very hard to get right now. I think right they now. go for a few hundred yeah. big-sized ones. Jack says, skeleton clear GITD and the blue transparent looks yeah, nice. Yeah, they uh, do. They do. Yeah. Hopefully, yeah. We, get, hopefully Guys, we get a box. if you get like extras and what, do trade it among themselves right Your yeah let's just keep keep the whole collector thing going oh my god uh, i just saw olivia's um, comment she right. says that the x-ray the big one is 400 usd oh my Holy shit, so. oh crazy <laughs> yeah what <laughs> 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 anyway uh uh jake also says all right no just kidding but for real though <laughs> yeah <laughs> right it's all yeah, of us like exactly <laughs> so simply toys if you're watching <laughs> <laughs> simply toys has been really not, nice yeah they us. have been really yeah. nice to us uh, and hopefully, hopefully, really, we can we are able to catch Reese O'Brien, and mm. let's, see what, let's see what we can do together. Yeah. Uh, maybe an episode, even. Mm. I don't know. Yeah. Um, Angel says, did y'all mention that Japanese voice actress Kana Ueda that voices yeah. Rin Tos- Tosaka in the Fate <laughs> series? I'm so sorry. Yeah. I, don't watch Fate. I watched One Gun Midnight Initial D. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to STGCC. STGCC. So it's like. Uh, toy games comic convention there's yeah. also a lot of like uh featuring on japanese artists japanese uh, singers as well so do check out scgcc's page on yeah. like um the people that you can get autographs from uh, i think there are a few yeah. comic artists as well that will be there yeah. from dc marvel so if you guys want to get your pop sign definitely like Got, check yeah. out the website exactly first, please check the website pops yeah. over to get them right signed. Yeah. Please do your research mm-hmm. and then it'll be, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gavin says, oh wait, Evanel says, I want the little terrapin. Ooh. Oh. Little terra, is it the dinosaur? I think, I, I think it so. is, yeah. But yeah. that's pretty cool. We, we do want the, the bubble tea. <laughs> yeah, we do want that. Anyways, uh, Gavin says, is there erosion, Molly? No, sir. Uh, I am so sorry, but yeah. um, unless a private seller brings it to sell, <laughs> yeah. but Instinct Toy will not be there yeah, this from what year. We heard. Yeah. Last year, it was really awesome having Instinct Toy yeah. there together with Shoko Nakazawa, yeah. which is the designer for uh, yeah. Byron. Right. And T9G was there as well. I think this year, we haven't heard anything. Yeah. But then again, for all you know, like keep your fingers crossed, Cross, they might just pop up there. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Kai asks, will Mighty Jacks be at SEGCC? Um, I think not. Yeah. Um, let's face it, it's uh, a week to go to, to SEGCC if Mighty Jacks isn't uh, outrightly promoting. Um, I think they I might not think, be. Yeah, yeah, they but might if not we be catch any to, wind yeah. about them popping up, you'll share it in Rookie Yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, but as of now, I don't think my T-Jacks will be at SCG. I, I do hope so though. Yeah, I mean, they're crossed, pretty... Yeah. yeah. Um, again, wait, hang on. Let's see what else. Uh, Evanel says, I hope my T-Jacks brings the X-ray SpongeBob. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, are they going to be there? I hope they are though. Yeah, I really hope they yeah. are. Um, is to see that this year, I don't think so i'm not too sure yeah, about I that because that i think might be another convention right bts probably yeah I think um, BTS we're not, we're not well. too sure yeah um comment spy says maybe i should get my collector's shield autograph by you guys ah, by her though no, that's wait. not that's not i oh, have oh yeah i have not yeah oh, i thought you i thought you said rookie collector <laughs> yeah i'm not part of that. <laughs> yeah uh, if you guys need protectors we will be at sdgcc so yeah. let me know your orders please I, let her know in advance though. yeah I, I will be posting out a couple of posts in the yeah. funko groups on if you guys want any orders right yeah, so look out for that. I'm trying to put together a promotion. Uh, my, yeah, I, I, I will try to do something good because the previous um, event that we did, uh, yeah, 
<laughs> sales was good, but I think I was suffering a bit because like <laughs> I was like doing charity almost. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll try and do something good again as well. Yeah, the previous time because shipment came in and I got it at a pre pretty good price. I'll try and do something again this time, but keep you guys updated. Right. Yeah. Uh, Evanol says thanks for letting us know, Evanol. Yeah. Uh, Shokura Kawazawa, T Nine G, uh, Zizi, they're all at the Beijing yeah, Toy I Show. Yeah, I remember Zizi being at. Uh, yes. And Kai also says it's sad that the Beijing Toy Show falls on the same weekend. It, it you know is... it's really frustrating yeah. because I have a feeling like Beijing Toy Show is like intentionally doing this every year like last year as well and the yeah. year before so it's either that I mean like I guess once the dates are fixed there's no moving around but when Beijing Toy Show has a big uh, show kind of like fixes your date there and, and like after right. your convention has been fixed no, it, it makes it kind of it, tough it, it's yeah. tough for collectors and artists as well because let's yeah. face it uh, um one, you want to feed, uh, or you want to go to as many conventions as possible to get your name out. And on the other hand, um, Beijing, China is a huge massive, market. Massive, massive yeah. market. So as an massive, artist, it, yeah. it, it really makes makes it very difficult mm -hmm. um, to decide whether you want to exhibit or you want to be at uh, Beijing Emerging Toy market show. or mature yeah. market, right? Correct. Yeah. So I think it's kind of very much different. I mean, not to say that we are very much mature <laughs> as well. Yeah. Um, but, market, uh, yeah, yeah I, I think it's kind of very much different in yeah. terms of uh, that. Uh, Beijing is a whole different ball game it's altogether. Different, yeah. The spending um, power there is also quite yeah. crazy. Yeah. <laughs> and you see how in previous years actually we have so many Japanese artists going down and having yeah. their toys sell out on day one yeah Teresa uh, Chiba was at BTS yeah. last year wow yeah. her booth was really crowded it, I it's think, quite insane I think it's also with how Teresa Chiba carries herself she yeah. really brings in the culture of Japan in the toys and the work as well yeah. yeah so if she really makes it this year I think she's really one artist exactly. to look out for yeah. and not to say <laughs> Like, you know, Haragon's really cute. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. got, we've got a lot of that yeah. now. Uh, um, <coughs> anyway, um, it is healthy for our wallets though. That is true. That is but true. not exactly because in SDGCC, oh <laughs> yeah, we start to see a lot of releases. Like, for example, this year, there's a shit ton of releases. Yeah. Uh, which will be quite damaging, I presume. Mm, yeah, and there's also Tiny Ghost. There's also, like, probably Funko. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then now that you know more artists, you want to support them as well. Yeah. My god. Uh, um, Livia says, I agree, my wallet goes to TG's. <laughs> I think sure. your wallet's already there. La. Yeah, 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 that's true. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, collecting plastic. Jack says, what's your budget? Huh. Well, nah, I don't know, mm. man. Yeah. The non-existent budget? <laughs> <laughs> Very trying to yeah. on spending a bit. What's this <laughs> wallet you speak of? Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no one's supporting my wallet until, though. Until like, we see the toy and like, oh, suddenly I've got money to spend. But then like, you regret afterwards, but... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, you mean crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Cons, man. The cons yeah. are the bane of your wallet's life. <laughs> Misfit asks us to, hey, happy birthday to his buddy. Happy birthday to your buddy. Happy birthday to you. Um, but yes, anyways. Um, so I think that brings us to the end of today's live stream. Yeah. Thank you so much for mm -hmm. joining us. It has been two weeks since we live streamed. Yeah. Uh, next week... We'll be doing live stream at the con, so... If possible. If possible, yeah. 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 Sorry, we, we're not going to promise, promise anything, yeah. yeah. The problem with cons is that the internet can be really crappy. Yes. Yeah, so we do what we can, yeah. but yeah. Um, for, for, for those of you guys who are going to the SCGCC, Please come and say hi. Yeah. Uh, we will be carrying around a couple of rookie collectible stickers. So <laughs> just ask us for some. Yeah. Um, come and say hi. We hope to see you guys there. Uh, and, and we hope to be able to do a live stream at the con yeah, as well. Otherwise, we'll definitely be filming yeah. around the conference like how we did last year. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we will most probably do a one round uh, walkthrough of all the toy uh, 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 yeah. designers, artists and, and mm -hmm. just showcase get them to say hi to the camera and stuff Yeah. Um, other than that we will be hoping to do a couple of interviews with some of them as well uh, if uh, um, their yeah, time lets up last year we actually had some interview set up that got cancelled <laughs> because um, reasons yeah reasons <laughs> let's, just, yeah. let's just keep it at that um, yeah yeah, schedules are yeah. pretty hard to arrange sometimes. Especially they are when the artists arrange, yeah. themselves are busy. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you so much. I think today was the first time we had so many viewers concurrently yeah, watching. Yeah, we hope that you guys enjoyed the, the content yeah. as well. Yeah, let us know what you guys yeah, want to know for in the next time. Yeah. Um, which toys do you actually like? I know there are probably a lot of Funko collectors here, but uh, yeah, design toys are also awesome and also very yeah. helpful to your wallet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so again, like uh, them, right? <laughs> what we're doing here at Ricky Collectibles is to try and bridge the gap between designer toys 
and Funko. And while still uh, showing uh, all yeah. the Funko as Exactly, well. yeah. uh, uh, Bearbricks and everything else. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's us just trying to bridge the gap and of course sharing the love with you guys uh, who are watching all these with us. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Do remember to hit that like button, hit that, that thumbs up button. Yeah, subscribe um, if you haven't yeah. subscribed. Uh, do and, uh, leave a comment about what yeah, you like. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. If you are watching this after, leave us a comment. For those of you who have been chatting with us the whole time, we do hope to chat yeah, with you guys again, again next, next week. Yeah. Yeah. That will be super awesome. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a couple of episodes in the pipelines as well that I haven't edited yet. Yeah, we have a couple of design <laughs> toys like, uh, lined up as well. We, yeah. we got something awesome through the mill. Uh, oh, yes, yes. toy from Malaysia. Right. Yeah. So um, um, hopefully that comes in conjunction with the interview we've done with that particular artist as well. Yeah. So that'll be coming soon. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you so much for dropping in. Um, remember, remember, Rookie Nation, please follow that group. And, and so we can have more conversations yeah. after So we can the share show. more like where yeah. to get free toys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah no kidding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, and also chat more with everyone else here that have watched the uh, live stream, all the episodes here. Yeah. Uh, uh, give us feedback and chat with us. Mm -hmm. So we hope to see you guys there. Yep. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Livestream Sundays. Stay frosty everyone. We hope to see you guys next week at STGCC 2018. Peace out. Bye-bye.